They give us this line 3x minus 2y equals 6, and they say find a line that's perpendicular at a right angle to it that goes through the point 4, negative 1. So just quickly, when you have a line, and a line perpendicular to that line, it forms that right angle, but you can see that there's actually a number of lines that would be perpendicular to the given line. But we're looking for the one particular one that goes through the point 4, negative 1, right? So first thing we want to do is we want to find the slope of this given line. And the way we would do that, it was we would rearrange it into the slope intercept form of the line. And we would do that by solving for y. So we want to get this y by itself. So let's subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So we have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. And then we're going to divide everything by negative 2 to get the y by itself, right? So that comes out to y equals positive 3 halves x minus 3. Now the number that's in front of the x or to the left of the x, that's the slope. And in this case, you can see it's 3 halves. But when you're finding a line that's perpendicular to this line, it's going to have the opposite reciprocal, opposite reciprocal. So that means it's going to be the opposite sign, negative, and the reciprocal means we're going to take this fraction, we're going to flip it over. So it's going to be 2 thirds. Now sometimes you get a whole number, and when you want to find the reciprocal of a whole number, just put that number over 1, and then flip it over, and make it the opposite. Okay, so if this was negative, this would be positive, and vice versa. Okay, so we know the slope of our line is going to be negative 2 thirds, and we're going to put that in place of our slope here, plus b. Now we don't know what the b is, that's the y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis. And so what we're going to do is we're going to solve for b by using this point, 4, negative 1. 4 is the x-coordinate, and negative 1 is the y-coordinate, so we're going to put negative 1 in for y, and we're going to put 4 in for x, and we're going to solve for our b. So if we do that, you can see we get negative 8 over 3 plus b equals negative 1. We want to add 8 thirds to both sides to get the b by itself, right? So these are going to cancel one another out. Now, negative 1 is actually negative 3 over uh, 3, right? So negative 3 plus 8 gives us 5 thirds. So you want to get that common denominator. And then now we take the 5 thirds and we put it back in for b, and we've got our equation. So y equals negative 2 thirds x uh, plus 5 thirds 